this camera is waterproof so let me give you an experience guy let me give you an experience so people are just enjoying their time here you know? hello guys welcome back to joel mugisha good morning from wherever you're watching me from buenos dias buenos tardes how are you how are you doing it's a beautiful day beautiful morning right here in uh, musanze the second largest city in rwanda guys and i am walking along beautiful streets clean streets a sunny day and uh, beautiful views you can see right behind me everything is clean people are building progress going on right here in rwanda guys i'm amazed to be back to give you a very nice vlog today very nice video so if you're new to this channel i want to ask you kindly subscribe like the video share and drop a comment i'm here not alone but with my friends <laughs> how are you guys hi guys good yeah. morning to all of joel mogisha's avid viewers i am the wandering kid i'm joining my brothers joel underscore mogisha and ta underscore travels here in the beautiful city of musanze mm. so if you guys are seeing me for the first time again i'm the wandering kid check out my channel for more adventures all around the world all right guys that is the wandering kid all the way from the philippines <laughs> man that is amazing this world is small man we can reach anywhere in the world we are showing him around rwanda but i'm with a brother of mine let him introduce himself also hi guys this is ta underscore travels i'm a fellow rwandan i'm uh, here with my brother joel and we are working in this beautiful city in Rwanda, Musanze city. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel, TA underscore Travels. You can go and check me out. But don't forget to support my brother Joel by liking his videos, commenting on his videos, and also subscribe, guys, if you have not yet subscribed. All right, guys, look at this, bro. This is a very nice house, very good looking house, guys and we are walking in the streets of musanze today is a beautiful day we are going to be showing you various activities actually right here in this uh, city of uh, musanze and guys we want to track down one of the most underrated places here in musanze it's a very nice gem it's a, a an underrated spot it's a gem that is hidden a very hidden gem actually we are tracking down some falls with a brother that is gonna show us where they are located because most tourists they only come to this city to see the gorillas which actually steal the show from every other touristic places here in musanze so when people come to musanze mostly is to watch and come and do mountain volcano hiking bird watching and also the main star of the show which is the gorillas so today we are tracking down a hidden gem we are going to track down some very beautiful falls and show you some random you know random spots because we are not tourists we are travelers and travelers don't do touristic things what do you think yes <laughs> travelers don't have plans you guys absolutely <laughs> so guys be with us come along as we show you around <laughs> but uh, you see the difference is we're not tourists so guys we are traveling this is some of uh, the neighborhoods here and uh, i just want to show you a little bit of how the locals live because most of the other videos we were in the city or the cbd area the central business district area but this is where the locals are hiding guys and as you know you can see those stones over there we call them amakoro those are volcanic stones volcanic ash stones that is what people used to build like you can see here this is built using amakoro that is what people used to build here beautiful material very strong very readily available and uh, you know 
you just pick them from the streets and use them to build your house so guys as i'm walking in the street you can see we have a little bit of more guest house which are hidden right within uh, the neighborhoods here in uh, Musanze and another thing guys I've noticed about Musanze is flat have you noticed that Paul? Uh, what is it? Musanze is flat. Yeah. It's very flat. Actually, have we crossed any mountains? No. Have we been hiking any any hills? <laughs> I wasn't panting like I was in Kigali. <laughs> yeah, man. This is actually beautiful because even me, I realize this is the only place in Rwanda I'm walking on flat ground. Because in Kigali, you have to hike up the hills, up and down, up and down, up and down. But here in Musanze, it's flat, actually. Very flat. And uh, Paul is enjoying. <laughs> Look at the busy streets. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, amazing. People are doing, wow. Do you know what? I just go to this street, guys, and I remembered Hello, in, uh, I remembered Mwanza, because this looks like a place where we were staying right in Mwanza, guys. It was looking like this with businesses and the same type of road beautiful place and beautiful we can see even a mosque up ahead so which means we have so much muslims in this uh neighborhood just like mwanza tanzania guys beautiful day as i show you around uh, musanze but we are tracking down a hidden gem guys so let's go see how it looks like So guys we are coming across this massive massive you know mosque here this place is called ibereshi ibereshi right yeah ibereshi Yo, this place is called ibereshi you can see this massive massive actually mosque which to me looks like it's in libyan flag colors <laughs> what do you think it has a very african style to it very unique yeah it, it it looks like libya or saudi arabia or something for the colors i'm i'm saying for the colors guys but it's a very massive massive uh mosque written must 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 did more all right we are in ibereshi bro good morning Our brother here say hi to my people hi my friends <laughs> you're good bro. welcome in ibereshi What's we are in Iberia. Patrick. Patrick. Forget my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, Patrick. we are meeting with Patrick. Where are you again. taking us today? Uh, we are going for the the uh, Menge. 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 Yeah. Menge. To see Menge. the waterfall. The waterfall and the bird watching. And bird watching. Yeah. So guys, thank you. Uh, you heard that, you heard that, you heard that, guys, you heard that. We are in uh, Ibereshi, we are tracking down a waterfall and we want to bird watch, actually. Uh, bro, good morning. Uh, what's up, bro? So guys, we are in uh, Ibereshi, right? Ibereshi, and uh, we are with the brother of Patrick right here. Remind us your name, bro. Noriega Hassan. Noriega Hassan. One thing. Wait. Why do you have a Muslim name? Are you Muslim? No, actually, it's because of my father. He's called. He's a Muslim. Oh. And he gave. He gave us his name. So, oh, he well, gave you his name. Yeah, that's oh. why. Oh, wow. All of us are called Hassan. Yeah, but we are. This place is uh, beautiful. And uh, I've seen a mosque. Do we have so many Muslim yeah, population actually, the, here? The, the, this place. Yeah. It's for Muslims. Like most popu the population, like Pente. Yeah. Percent who lives here, they are yeah. Muslims. Oh, it's uh, like a Muslim neighborhood, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like Nyamirambo in Kigali. Yeah. Ah, it's ah. In Kigali. you guys in Kigali. This is the Nyamirambo I mean, of Musanze. They are like they lived here long ago. Uh, uh. They are like from long, long time. The yeah, people who live here? Yeah, most of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and do we have Muslim, like Rwandan Muslims or Arabs or uh, Somali or which community uh, is it? Sorry, the, it's Rwandans. Yeah. Maybe uh, other people, like the Somalis, maybe there are some other parts, but here, yeah. most of them are Rwandan, Rwandan, Rwandan Muslims. Yeah. All right, you heard that, guys. It's Rwandan Muslims, and this is their neighborhood. Every country, actually, even in uh, Kenya, 
the Muslims they have a, a neighborhood yeah, called Isli. Isli. Yeah, Isli. But many Somalis in Isli that Isli is uh, mainly Somalis, Ethiopians and uh, Arabs. Yeah, so Arabs very many countries where it's a christian country you find that the muslims they go take a neighborhood and they make it their own yeah, <laughs> like, that's they, they like to live in the same neighborhood yeah most same here like yeah people uh, actually it's like yeah, there's people who came to mm -hmm. to live here yeah for muslims actually, most of them uh, they have even a school yeah from it's it's called Azir. Azir? Yeah, oh. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a Muslim school. Yeah, it's a Muslim school. George, wow. do you know what I think? Yeah. Like, uh, in the ancient time when Muslims were trying to spread Muslim across like Africa, yeah. they could come somewhere and then they start settling mm. in one area. Yeah. You know that Muslim in Kigari, yeah. they first settled in Yamiramo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. when they started sp sp uh, yes. spreading, is spreading Islam. Islam. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I think maybe here in Musanze, so, uh, this is the first yeah. place they started. Oh. And then they, they started spreading uh, Islam. Islam, yeah. Around, around, yeah. You heard that guys, I think uh, that is the theory there. Yeah, like you can the, most just can give you the, house, yeah. the theory. Uh, Islamic school. Wow. Beautiful residential areas here. Guys looking good. And the three villages. But this is six, right? This is six, 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 six,
very clean very clean sparkling clean it doesn't make a difference you guys yeah whether it's touristy areas <laughs> yeah. or local areas or, or local areas <laughs> rwandans are so disciplined yeah they take care of their surroundings really well mm -hmm. <laughs> Really clean, really clean. Yeah, that is true, bro. Wow. You know, Imbabula. So, guys, I hear we are at a place where they make um, handmade. Uh, how do we call it? Cooking. Um, cooking wares. Cooking, cooking stoves. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Cooking stoves. Uh, the charcoal stove. You know the charcoal stove. Charcoal stove. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's where they make it. Charcoal stove. So they are made here locally. Locally, actually. Wow, beautiful guys. Beautiful local talent. You can see people are just guys, crafting. These are local yeah, stores. Crafting uh, local stores for you know, for charcoal. Wow. Uh, this is nice. This is nice. Look at that, guys. That is a, a local local charcoal stove right there, where they make the stoves where you can use charcoal to cook your food. This is good, really good. Absolutely. So, Patrick, what do you say to my people? Do you think uh, most people in the West, when we are talking about Ahud, it's an unsafe zone? There is crime, there is people who are stealing. You live here. Can you tell us, is it this place safe? Uh, the first boy I wish he coming in, 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 in the village. Yeah. First, we take him chapat. Mm. Uh, you can, they can uh, take the, some drink. See? No, tell them first about the safety. Na na guhara wa jura yani no hari safe. No, it's a safety. Yeah, 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. No thieves. No thieves. 24 hours. Oh, look at those. Yeah, safe. Those dodgy streets, guys. Yeah. <laughs> dodgy mm. streets and it's safe. And uh, he tells us, even though. It's a hood, guys. Rwanda is very safe. Even in the hood areas, it's very, very safe. You can, you can, 24 hours. Yes. What do you think? So that is interesting for me because yeah. I like wandering around Benin myself. Yeah. So even for a foreigner, if you're going around here, you'll be fine, right? Wow. Patrick. Patrick. Perfect. So even if you're a foreigner, look at that, guys. So these are the hoods here and uh, they are super safe 24 hours just as Patrick has told us. We are just exploring the wood here in Musanze guys. As we are tracking down the waterfalls for you guys, a hidden gem, not a touristic place but it's a hidden gem. Look at these guys, Ooh, this is good, this is good. I won't go there because maybe it's someone's house but I just wanted to show you how it looks like a very nice walkway and this is a typical you know houses here in the hood people working wow beautiful guys beautiful I love I love how you know how it looks man I could live here I love I love how it looks guys look at that yeah. Very beautiful Good nature. Good morning. Very beautiful place. People are building, looking are nice. And we have the Amakoro right there. Wow. Mm. Look at that, guys. Local houses right here in the ghetto. Local houses. And you can see how clean it is, bro. Most ghettos, they would be dirt everywhere. It will be dirty and smelly. But this place is really clean. No smell. Nothing actually very dodgy. Beautiful place, actually. I love it. Look at that, guys. Wow. Whew. This is good, bro. This is good. I feel I'm enjoying it. Real travelers. <laughs> yeah, we are we real are travelers. Hood, man. Because we are. <laughs> 
yes. in the hood and uh, if you're a traveler remember you are not a tourist tourists will go just to see gorillas and they are done with musanze yeah yeah but <laughs> travelers you go into the ghetto you go into the wood you go everywhere <laughs> get to interact with the locals yeah you interact with locals and that's the beauty of it you you discover even some hidden gems like where we are going right now to you know to track down that waterfall where people don't go you know and it's wonderful it's very actually. wonderful guys here Paul I'm telling my people when we talking about a uh, hood mm -hmm. or ghetto one of the thing that you'll find oh, there is yeah. smell smell <laughs> leave alone even the safety you'll find a lot of smell mm. but look at this this is looks like a dodgy street but it's super clean bro super clean <laughs> super clean have you had any bad smell or bad no. odor no bro honestly Nothing. i haven't smelled anything yeah and even the the roads here are spotlessly clean yeah they're just that roads but they are super clean actually and people are just here chilling and do minding their own business exactly. going about their daily lives exactly and i was telling them to be honest i could live here look at this bro the I nature know. the calmness the calmness you know, and everything just looks good really i could live here i'm not even joking i mean i love it <laughs> look at this <laughs> i love it this is a typical wow look at the house bro village typical life here in village Sanjay. life and village house so to all beautiful people, place guys and we like this and uh, yeah. we are just exploring through the hood and exploring uh, this place and how it looks like as we are trying to track down the waterfall guys oh we're here and think we are here guys we are here let's go see what the sign says welcome welcome to Menge river to Menge river, Menge river. Ooh, yeah, already we have many guys. many Look at activities that, guys. Welcome to Mpenge River yeah. and their Jordan, are Jordan, Jordan, Amakera side. Yeah. We have Amakera. Amakera, Amakera called Spin. Water yeah. Springs. Yeah. Nachawa. Yeah. Nachawa. Ah, swimming, swimming with locals. locals. Oh, swimming. that's very interesting. Are there some locals? Good day. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's check it out, guys. Let's check, check it out. out. And Let's check it out. Guys, I Look. feel like today we want to swim with some local bunnies here. What's going to happen? <laughs> I don't think they understand the word bunny. <laughs> but yeah, Guys, if, you know, you know. <laughs> if you know the thing, you go soon know. <laughs> if you don't know the thing, you go soon know. So yeah, it's maybe Tia is gonna swim with some bunnies. Who knows? Let's go check it out. No <laughs> worry, I'm looking for some bunnies. No worry. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for some bunnies here. Is that what brought you here, Joey? Let's go. Let's go check it out, bro. Let's go check it out. We are already there. Yeah. And guys, I want to give you guys an experience of how this water looks. This water is very clean, actually. So I want to show you something, guys. I want to show you something, guys, in uh, this place. I'm going to photo her, bro. I'm going to camera too. Yeah. 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 So guys, he wants to be filmed while he's swimming. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Israel. Israel. Yeah. Look, look, look here where the sun is. Your name is? Israel. Yes. So you want to swim for us? Let me film him guys as he shows a, a sweet a trick as he swim. Okay, go. Oh, you you you'll start from there? Yes, yes. Okay, where are you going to pass? Okay, you go and then I'll wait for you. Yes. Wow. Guys, he's gonna swim for us and show us a trick. So we're gonna wait for him here as he swim and come back. But in the meantime, that is nice, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the experience since the camera is waterproof. So why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. It's salty. Look at how clear that water is. Very clear guys. Look at that. The bottom, the rock very clear, very clean. Man, I, I hope 
you guys have told me to bring a swimming suit. Swimming, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you can. You're... Man, I would have loved to, to swim with the locals yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Beautiful, bro. I hope and I had what brought is the a name swimming of this river again. Penge River. Penge River. Yeah. You see this? This is Penge River. Penge River. Very, very clean. Yeah. It's a good thing right. that locals can Where is our guy? This beautiful Ooh. nature. No, the guy who's supposed to swim for us. <laughs> swim! He's gonna swim? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, oga, Oga, Oga. <laughs> this is a shallow part of the river. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> nice. There he is, guys. There he is. <laughs> Very nice. Woo! Wow, we toy it. That is it guys. He was giving us a swimming experience. I really wish I had brought uh, a swimming suit so that I can swim with the locals and enjoy myself right here. This water is actually tempting me. The way it's clear, bro. It's sparkling clear. Look at that. Sparkling clear. Wow, look at that, bro. See, the cameras don't lie. You can yeah. see the rocks. You can see the rocks. It's very clean and clear. Wow. Beautiful, bro. Really beautiful. So guys, let me show you something. This water also comes from the ground. Like you see, there is water coming from the ground, ground water. See, you can see it better here. There is water coming all the way from the ground. And that's why we have an endless stream right on this side, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Where locals can just come and fetch water. And uh, the most exciting thing is here the water is very clean very clean look at that beautiful clean stream of water what a better way to live you know than to live in nature it's a beautiful place actually you can enjoy swimming you know fishing and uh, draw your water and everything guys now Joel Mugisha is about to try the water from this spring. Guys, I'm about to try this natural water. Let me wash my hands first. Mm. 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 Joel, it's super cold <laughs> and a oh, little bit salty. <laughs> Joel is trying to taste the natural spring of water coming from the loft. Joel, how is it? It's not like uh, packaged water. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit taste of mineral. Mineral. Yeah. And it's not too bad actually. It's it's a little bit tasty, sweet, I don't know, pleasant to the tongue. I love it. You can tell it's natural water as well. And you know, this water that comes from the ground and from the rocks from the mountain is the best water to drink actually mm. because it has very important minerals for your body everybody yeah <laughs> beautiful guys i'm also trying the water from the spring it's very cold it's very clear i'm so tempted to wash my face first i'm going to try the water myself and taste it You're right, bro. <laughs> You're right, it doesn't taste anything close to bottled water. You can taste some sort of minerals and some nutrition that comes fresh from nature. And I think it's best. It's better for your health than any packed water that you can buy from the stores. Yeah, man. There's a big one a big all one. over there, guys. And I'm sorry, guys, from the GoPro. Because I don't, I don't think you guys are seeing what we are seeing, but there is some fish here. Wow. So guys, there is some fishing pond over there. 
and uh, you have to be a little bit you know quiet not to speak to spook the fish but it's beautiful actually that these people are using nature to their advantage how do you think this is you know living how our ancestors live yeah they lived by the mm. bounties of the land and the waters exactly and these people know how to harness it they take care of it well mm. and nature takes care of them really well to yeah. be honest guys i'm really jealous especially of the water I'm jealous of, because of the water i'm i'm jealous of the water because that's 90 percent of the human body mm. is water mm -hmm. you know even blood is just 10 percent mm. so if you're drinking bad shitty water forgive my language <laughs> it's gonna be bad for your health but mm. these people are drinking mineral water which is good for their health and for their bones mm. the bone health is very important mm. so i'm really really jealous about these people who are living in conjunction with nature yes and uh, which is beautiful guys they can be able even to fish just along the river with a pond right there and now we have a, a quite a show I'm quite a <laughs> can you say can you say hello 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 hello, hey, hello. hello. <laughs> oh what happened to your hand uh, my hand i am um, when I am going the road, I, I will be... Oh, you broke it? Yes. You're oh, yourself. sorry. Sorry about that. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Sorry about that. Guys, we are getting quite a show here. If the locals, they see you with cameras, mm. you are getting a show. People will just be staring, <laughs> but they are good. Good people. They are just staring at what you are doing. So yeah, that is it. You become, you become an audience. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We are hiking we with are some hiking local kids some local right behind kids. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are in. We are in. Say hello. 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 <laughs> I like We are hiking with some local kids right here. Just tracking the waterfalls. It's beautiful nature guys. Beautiful. This to be honest guys, this is one of the best videos that I've done here in Musanze because man I get to enjoy the nature I got left behind because I was trying to change my STs we are still hiking with uh, my friends here tracking down the waterfall just around here guys beautiful I love it as I was saying guys this is one of the best videos that I've done here in Musanze guys because I get to enjoy these beautiful views in the local in the mountains i get to hike you know i get to enjoy the nature i get to interact with the locals and also i get to see where the locals live as you've seen on this video guys oh okay guys we are trying to track our friends because i can't find them but i think we are almost there and we have some more, more iron deposits right here guys Woo, beautiful guys we are hiking trying to track the waterfall a hidden gem and they call it Amachera. Amachera. And I think we are here. So let's go see. Let's go see, guys. I think we are here. Maybe. Love it. <laughs> guys, we've been trekking nice. for almost an hour, right? Mm. Yeah. Trying to find this elusive waterfall. But we are stopping here to have some, um, what do we call it? Imbada. Imbada. That's Imbada. What do we, do we right, call it? Imbada. Imbada. Okay. Let me share no. just a little no, no. bit. <laughs> Imbada. Imbada. Mm. So guys, that's the Imbada. Mm. I wanted it for my video. Made from millet. Made so from um, millet. The right there, Imbada. Yeah. It's very delicious. <laughs> How was it? It's nice. It's nice, Joel. All right, Joel. Let's continue nah. the trekking to find the waterfalls. How was the very elusive?
Wait, guys. Mbada, He's saying they mm. take Imbada here in Musanze with what? I was actually saying that mm. here in Musanze, yeah. uh, they take Imbada early in the morning as their breakfast together with uh, sorghum beer. Sorghum Some beer. Parts of, uh, so what do we call sorghum beer in, in the local Ichigaje. 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 Ichigaje, yeah. Wow. What is the, the difference between Ichigaji and Uruguarwa? Uruguarwa is a banana beer. Oh, it's a banana <laughs> beer. Mm. They just uh, take banana, they take some, mm. they put in some, some uh, yeast, mm. the banana, and then they just make beer. Guys, finally, 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 after trekking for an hour, we are here at the Mpenge waterfall, waterfall and trek. Woo! The sound of Wara is just inviting me, man. It's just inviting me. Let's go see the waterfall. And uh, guys, can you hear that? I think the water is coming from here, guys. Yeah, it's coming from there. And then it goes all the way here as a waterfall. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Look at that, guys. Be careful, Bob. Look at that. This is beautiful guys. Absolutely what you are looking for. Wow. Wow, beautiful guys. I think uh, I don't know if we can go down there, but let's find a way. If there is possible we we are going down. Are we able to go down? Or it's not possible? There's nowhere to pass. It's okay for as long as we see it. As long as we see it, guys, look at that. We are looking if it's possible for us to find a way to go down. But I am being told it might be not possible to go down. Yo, guys. Ooh, unfortunately, guys, we have a problem here. But at least you guys got to see a little bit of the of the waterfall. So nowadays it's a protected reserve area by uh, the tourism board. Mm. So we did a mistake. Mm. We should have we should actually have asked. asked for permission because you need to pay for, you need to go ask for permission. And uh, the offices they are in the CBD. Mm. And we've been trekking for an hour and a half, guys, to get to this point. <laughs> we cannot go to the CBD and back because we have to catch a bus to another city yeah. right here in Rwanda guys so keep watching the videos but at least guys you saw you know a glimpse of the waterfall so it's two waterfall that's waterfall number one going downstream there is even a bigger one so when you pay for you go there actually as we are told it's actually cheap and reasonable you know for foreigners it's five thousand which is less than five dollars uh -huh. and for locals it's two thousand which is less than two dollars so very very affordable guys if you are looking to come to this mpenge waterfall and trek very hidden spot very hidden gem mm -hmm. make sure you go to their offices at rdb in the cbd of musanze city mm -hmm. and then go pay the required fees very minimal fees and then ask for permission and then you can come here and you'll find tour guides to show you around guys Alright guys, we are having a bicycle experience. My brother Tia, my brother Wandering Kid. We are having a bicycle experience. So this is one of uh, the most used public transport systems right here in Rwanda, especially outside of Kigali. In Kigali, you cannot find uh, bicycles for transport. But here, outside of uh, Kigali, we are in Musanze, you get to experience the bicycle experience right now. As you can see guys, my friends are there being carried by the bicycles. Woo! Looking good guys. Amazing. Amazing. Look at that. And we are heading for somewhere to have breakfast guys. And uh, the funny thing is, it's very cheap guys, 200 per person, really, that's a steal. 
that's a steal so if you want to have a cheaper mode of transport instead of taking motorbikes you can take bicycles because bicycles will be a little bit cheaper than the motorbikes because motorbikes they use um, gasoline but the bicycles they don't so that's why it's a bit cheaper guys it's a nice experience Yes, a little bit of oil. Ooh, look at that. Nice. I'm just making them right now. Vikikan Rwandan chapati. And one thing, guys, the Rwandan chapati doesn't look like the Kenyan or Tanzanian chapati. Ours looks more like uh, an Indian roti. Indian roti. Yeah. Now, look at that. Guys, we are very lucky to have fresh chapatis. The experience of uh, being prepared for us right at the kitchen. There Look at go. that. You already flipped that one. Looking brown already. Golden brown. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. See you guys when the chapatis are ready. So, guys, our chapatis are being ready, made ready. We're gonna be sitting here a little bit because uh, at the chapati store they don't have enough you know enough seats but we have so, to buy something from here yeah we have to buy like uh, <laughs> a drink a, a drink <laughs> so we're gonna be sitting here guys as we take and wait for our order right now this is a nice setup right there mm. Yes, because sir. With our breakfast here. Yeah, man. My boys are here, Joel. Hello, guys. Noriega is here. Yeah. So, guys, Noriega is yeah. for our Japanese. You have Noriega. such a very, very cool name, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Noriega. So, guys,